First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yoshai, Basham, Makar, Kadash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone Rule Well, who teach us the truth through the Spirit and power, Yahweh, Basham, Yoshai. Peace and salutation to the Akims and Moody, pushing the gospel and sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara from Trinidad Camp, coming to you with another lesson to feed the lek at the house of Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Alright, you know, I'll entitle this lesson, There's No Hiding Place from the Father of Creation. You know, it is impossible, you know, to, to keep yourself hidden from the man who created you, from the man who created the heavens and the earth. You know, it's impossible. You know, and I said, I said, listen, you know, we want about Mali songs, you know, we want love, you know, we sing about that, you know. There is no hiding place from the Father of creation, you know. So, you know, our enemy, you know, the so-called white man, these hidden nations, the feel that, you know, they're going to hide from the Father of creation, that when the Lord comes to destroy this place by nuke, by nuclear weapons, right, they're going to have, you know, the, the bunkers, you know, where they're going to hit themselves and feel like the Lord, he knew, you know, they're going and hide. He doesn't see the hiding place already. You know, because scripture say, you know, come back to him, most the scripture say in Revelation, Revelation, I think it's 9, it's 20. Yeah. You see, Revelation 9 verse 20, you see, and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands. Right? The moment the scripture says, you know, they neither repented from the murders, the theft, you know, the unjust dealings. Right? You see, and the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands. That they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and wood. Neither can they see nor hear. Right? Neither repented of their murders nor their sorceries. Nor of their fornication nor of their thefts. Right? Because these are hey, the most I gonna, the most, the, the Heavenly Father, Yahabasha Meshai, gonna get these men. That will not kill by the missiles. Because they're gonna have they're gonna be in the doomsday bunkers in hell. Right? They're gonna be there. And with the scripture saying Jeremiah 16 verse 16, he's gonna send for hunters. He's gonna hunt them from every hole, from every mountain, from every crevice. He's gonna get them because the Lord knows where it is. Right? Go back to the Emos 9. Verse 2. He must 9 verse 2. He said, Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. You know, he saw so called white man, he space force. You know, so they're going to be all day too. Alright. Just saying, um, he say um, You see, and though they be hid, though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and it shall bite them. Hey, the Lord gonna let loose Leviathan, cause he, Leviathan is easy, easy eyes are the most high too. Right, the eyes are your Bashamasha running to and fro through the earth. To the angels, the prophets, even the animals, <laughs> even these great, these great beasts that he sees, they are the eyes of your Basha Meshai also. The Lord could see through them. So where you could hide? Yeah. The Lord can see you through one of the, the tiniest insects where your eyes can see. So when you feel that you know you you can hide, hey, the Lord can see you through them. So there's no hiding place. 
But the Lord gonna find him on the earth in hell, in the doomsday bunkers, and he gonna find them to the bottom of the sea. He gonna might hide in the the submarines, you know, and the underwater base, and out in space. So there is no hiding place, right? That the so-called white man could hide. You know, his, his judgment, his judgment book, <laughs> right? The Psalms, the Psalms 1, 1 to the 9, verse 6. He says, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. He said, whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascended, if I ascended up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me and thy right hand shall hold of me. Right, so even if you're in the uttermost sea, where the Lord say gonna the serpent gonna bite them, he's gonna release the serpent. Right? He say, if I if I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be uh, be light about me. Right? You know, so even so if the place dark and it feels like you know the place black, the Lord can't see her. The Lord seeing two dark places, you know, a proper night vision. Right? He say, Yeah, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike unto your bashroom, your shy. Right? So the darkness and the light are both alike unto your bashroom, your shy. Right? So you, that the brightness of the sun, right? That great, that, that light. The sun real bright, you can't, by you watching up on the sun, your eyes going on water, you going on, you know, see blurry. You know, you can't watch the sun too long. So imagine a man, as scripture say, you know, in, um, in Sirach, Sirach 17, verse 31. He say, what is brighter than the sun? Yet the light they all fail it, and the flesh and blood will imagine ve evil. He say he viewed the power of the heights of heaven, and all men about earth and ashes. You know, so a man had to be crazy. You know, to say you know, he, he could hide himself from the Lord boy. And that scripture say, why earth and ashes so proud? You have to be insane. That you could hide from your abash from your shy. So he's saying, what is brighter than the sun? Yeah, what this yeah, what this the scripture say here. Yeah. In the same Sirach 23, verse 19. He says, Such a man only fear the eyes of men, and know it not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. So you see what brighter than the sun? What is brighter than the sun? The eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Brighter than the sun. Right? So the scriptures, you know, say back in the in, in Psalms, Psalms 1 to the 9, verse 11. Right? He say, If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be like light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as day. The darkness and the light are both alike unto your bash and your shy. Right? So, if the eyes are the Lord ten thousand times brighter than the sun, and what your bright the sun is, the sun does they shine up everything. Even down to a certain amount of depths, you just get sunlight beneath the sea. Right? So imagine something 10,000 times brighter than that. That is a super beam. That is a super light. A super beam. That super beam. 
a great light. And we say, right? The darkness and the light are both alike. So the mo- same way how the most I will see clear in the day, you go and see that same thing in the night. The same thing in the night. So how you will head from a man who have that kind of vision? How? Right? The Psalms, the Psalms, um, Psalms 94, verse 9. You know, the scripture says, He that planted the air shall he not hear? He that formed the eye shall he not see? He that chastened the heathen shall he, he not, shall he, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge shall he not know? Eh? The man who the man who created your eyes. A man who created your eyes for you to see. We are trying to say that he can see. And he created your eyes for you to see. The Lord knows all things. The scripture say you know your thoughts. You know the thing before you. You know what you think before you even think it. The Lord knows all things. So there is no hiding place from the Father of creation, Yahweh Basham Yoshai. None. Right? And that was the scripture saying in, in Ezra. For the Lord knoweth all of them that sin against him. And therefore he delivered them unto death and destruction. So the Lord knew all that sin against him. There is no hiding place. The scripture said, None shall go unpunished unto the grave. None. You know, and with that, you know, hope it was a fine, you know, I like to give all praises and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yoshai, Basham Kakadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. You know, and peace and salutation to the Akims and all you pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Quara from Trinidad Camp saying, Shalom.